In last video, we saw how to create a Linux interface. Uh, I mean, to change the Linux interface to VPP interface. This is how it was. So today, what we'll do is, in case we want to run any uh, uh, application, then how to interact with that. So for that, we need a interface which is common to this, to VPP as well as Linux. So for example, FRR. So we uh, we have already installed FRR here. Sorry. So this is FRR. So interface brief. So if you want to know the steps to install FRR, I, I will give it in the playlist. You can install. Uh, you can see the steps and install it. So here currently we have only all the Linux interfaces. If you see, so this is the command VTYSH. So if you come out and if you give if config a, you will see all the Linux interfaces. ENP3, 8 and 9. So these three we saw. So now we need an interface, but we had an interface 10, right? If you see the old video, that link also I will give you. If you are not aware, you can see that. Iphone class, network, iPhone bus info. This will show, see here we had already had an ENP0 S10. So that we have moved to VPP and now we, in VPP it is, the interface is as this. So now we need to communicate uh, in, uh, between these two, so VPP and, and FRR or Linux. So how to do that? So what uh, in this video we will just see how to create an interface alone for that. So for that first what we need to do is, uh, I have taken VPP latest, VPP 22. So in VPP 22 there were two issues actually, say what are those. So to install VPP also, I have already given a play, um, given a video on that. That also I'll add in the description. You can check. So these two changes I have added. So the reason is uh, APP test was not compiled. So that's why I have added in the root package. And one more change is this make file change in IPsec. Uh, right? They have not given an option. So what ha happens is. If I am running this in the physical machine, I will not get a problem. If I am compiling it in the virtual machine, then it uh, kills with out of bound memory. So for that's why we have, have given these two changes. So these two changes, these are the two files, two make files. And then you have to compile and install. All the steps for compilation and install is the same. So I have used Ubuntu. I.4 is the kernel. So these are the co coding line changes required to proceed with this. Why we need all these is we have some LCP, Linux, CP, control path. So this code we need, LCP question mark. If you give so version, you will see this, these commands. To enable these commands, I have done all these things. I have taken 20 dot version and then uh, so 20 dot uh, that Ubuntu and then compile the VPP and install with those two changes so that we will get the LCP create. So we need this LCP create. So for proceeding with this LCP create, next step we need is NetNS. NetNS is a namespace. In Linux, right, we have a command called as IP NetNS. So currently, there is no NetNS here. So we have to create it in the var run. Sorry. This is the path. We can give this command. So currently, it is not running. You have to make the netNS run. So for that, I am just creating add Linux CP or anything you can give. We need a permission. So now, if we give netNS, so this is the command. So now, with this, if we see the var run default. So it's there. So default is not there. So inside that we have we have got this Linux CP. But now what we have to do is we have to create a namespace. So why we need a if we have a namespace, what will happen is so we have all the interfaces here. These are all the default namespace. So we need to create a default namespace. Now I have created VPP, uh, so Linux VPP. This is one more namespace. How to go inside and see what is that? IP NetNS exec 
லெனக்ஸ் ஐஃபன் விபிபி இப் ஆன்பி சாரி ஆல் பர்மிஷன்ஸ் வினி ஸோ சி இன்சைட் தட் வி ஹவ் கிரியேட்டட் அர்ஷன் வர்ச்சுவல் மீட் ஸோ ஐபிஎல் இஃப் கான்ஃபிக் எல்லோ அப் ஸோ ஈவன் வி கேன் யு கேன் ஈவன் பிங் சாரி we can even ping from that so this is a separate namespace the next week. now what we want to do for vpp is we don't want a different namespace we want a default namespace so what i'm going to do is we have we are going to create a default namespace so that we get a name here if you put ip net ns we need to give get the default here so how to do that is so this is a, just create a soft link proc1 is actually our kernel thing so that's why now this will create we need a sorry for all these things we need permission now if you put ip net ns see it is default is create exec default now all the interfaces listed will come here see what are all you, what all you already had in the normal space will be move, you can view it in the default space so now the other one we can just remove del linux vp this is not required sudo so this is the these are this is the first step to create an interface now inside that we'll see exec if config i think exec default we have to give the namespace and So here we have only ENP3, 8 and 9. So we don't have any other interface. Now we are going to create an interface in VPP so that we can see that here. So how we are going to create? The command is this LCP create. Linux CP, Linux control path. So LCP create, I have to give interface name. So I am giving this interface name and then post IF, we can give any name we want. So that with this name, with this name it will create here here you should be able to see it and then netns is default so now if you see right this will create a tap interface actually here see it has created a tap one interface show tap this is the hardware interface this is the mac interface sorry mac address hardware address so we can compare this and now we'll see whether it has created an interface here sudo netns exec default if config see it has created this interface so now the mac is 2f 2d ending end, ends with 2f 2d we'll see whether here we have the same thing see this is the host max address it should be the same so this is how you can create we just assign some ip and c set interface ip this is a ip address and then we have to give the interface name and then ip address so interface ip 
okay cell drugs so with this we can see what is the second show interface i'm just giving a ping you can just see some counters are getting incremented we can see all the packet details in later so here also some packets but it, we have not received anything because we have not configured or uh, done any anything for this so the same interface you should be able to see in ptysh that is frr interface so here interface is shut down all the uh, normal frr commands you can do it here so you can see so now you can see the packets because from it is able to receive from here can you i just summarize we, we need to create a uh, change change the code main thing is mn these two changes appn hyphen j1 these two changes we have to do just to summarize and compile and install it the next step we have to do is netns you should create a default netns namespace and then we should uh, give the lcp command lcp create that is the command once you do that it will create a tap interface so tap you can see all the, the, whether this mac matches with the mac in the linux so this is how we can create an interface between vpp and frr so this is actually frr linux will to see the steps uh, how to install everything i'll give it in the playlist you can check it and in later videos we'll uh, check how to configure uh, protocols and learn thank you